one way to keep your group's attention and provide extra interest and motivation around books and stories is by employing what I like to call a framework of surprise. This may be as simple as producing your books and lessons all sequentially from inside a picnic basket or inside a treasure chest or some surprising place like that. Another idea is to uh, string up a clothesline and produce representational items or book covers from hanging clothes as you go through your program. For example, you can hide um, books or props or little cover images in regular size mittens or in size inside giant size mittens um, and for added flexibility hide several items in each one so you can adapt as needed. You can find out together with your audience what book or activity you'll be doing next. For example, the next story that we're going to be sharing is called Under My Hood I Have a Hat by Carla Cuskin and illustrated by Fumi Kosaka. Now, the next mitten is this one right here, and it looks kind of full of stuff. I wonder what is in there. Should I take a look? All right. Let's see. Boy, it feels really fat. What do you think might be inside this mitten? Do you, I, here, let me, oh, it's something soft. Oh, those are good guesses. Look what's in here. What are they? They're more mittens. They are more mittens inside this giant mitten. Mittens have a space for, for your hands like this, and there's a space for my thumb. These are some grown-up mittens, aren't they? Now, there's still something in this giant mitten. It also feels soft. What do you think it's going to be? Oh, it feels very soft. Oh, what are these? Now, are those mittens? There's a different name for these. There's a space for each one of my fingers. These are called gloves, gloves. And that's going to be important in our story because the little girl has to put on so many clothes, she puts on mittens and she puts on gloves. Well, you can extend the possibilities of the giant mittens um, or the clothes or whatever you string up on the clothes line by adding letters or words to, um, to the front of them so that you can share those and extend letter knowledge with the kids as you go. Try varying your framework um, to tie in with the area that you're studying. You can use frameworks that require active audience participation. Um, for example, watch the framework of surprise demonstration to learn how to make story soup. <laughs>